<laughs> so thank you guys all for jumping on tonight. I'm super excited to hand over the call to our very own Allison. She's going to be talking about the three vital behaviors. But before that, I kind of want to touch on something super important that's been near and dear, that's always near and dear to my heart. And it's you guys. So I have been talking to a lot of coaches recently. Um, maybe you guys all feel this way. Maybe not. Maybe there's been a point in your um, coaching journey where you have felt this way. So I wanted to kind of throw this out there. So I know oftentimes we feel defeated, whether we're not hitting success club, we're not helping somebody, um, put your hands down. <laughs> uh, maybe we've been talking to someone for so long and they end up purchasing a program through Amazon. Um, maybe we have been building relationships with people and they're so excited, they're ready to go, and then they fizzle out. Um, maybe we cannot help but look at other coaches around us and compare ourselves to them. And why are we not where they are at? And why are we not getting the numbers or the coaches that, that they're getting? But here's the thing, guys. Each and every single one of you is at a different point in your journey. You all have something very, very special to offer. You guys have a very different story from anybody else. Now, whether or not you're sharing your story, that's going to be what connects you to people that need your help. So I want you guys to think, and I think I got this from Corinne. Where'd she go? She, she's still on here. Oh, she's on here, but I don't see her face. Um, she said on one zoom one time that when she writes her to-do list and correct me if I'm wrong, I really think it was you, Corinne, but she said on her to-do list at the top, she writes, how many people can I help today? So when you're sitting there and I know how hard it is not to get frustrated because you're, you're maybe at still zero at success club, or maybe you haven't built any new friends or made any new friends or connections. Tomorrow morning, when you wake up and you write your to-do list, I want you to write on top of your to-do list, how many people can I connect with today? How many people can I help? And how can I offer value to someone else? This business is not about rank. It's not about success club. It's not about who's who and who got what and what they're doing. It's about what you are doing, what you can do and what you have to offer. And as ladies, I can't speak for a man because I've never been in a man's shoes, so I don't know. But I know as ladies, we are our own worst enemy. We are our biggest critic. Whether it's our before and after photos, we're like, oh no, I, I don't see any results at all or any change at all. Who has done that? You look at your before or after photo and you're like, there's no change. And everyone else is like, are you kidding? Smack, there's change. Because we're our own worst critic. So when, we're, when we feel like we're being productive or we're putting in the work, but we're not seeing any traction from it, what do we tell ourselves? I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm not meant to do this. I'm doing something wrong. I'm not good as so and so. And so forth and so on. Because we can be our own worst enemy. And I know I've been my own worst enemy for a very long time. And ladies, I love each and every one of you and I'll be damned if you ever feel that way. But I can't stop you from feeling that way. You have to stop yourself from feeling that way. You have to be your biggest fan. Do you wanna know what it feels like to be your biggest fan, to believe in yourself? To know that you have something amazing to offer someone else, even if it's just one person. Maybe it's two, maybe it's 10. Regardless, a life is a life and you have the opportunity to help change lives. So whether you're sitting at zero right now or you're sitting at still coach rank or whatever is making you feel defeated, don't think of those things. Think of what you can do to make a difference. Think of what you can do to make a change. 
It's not about numbers. It's not about rank. Just think of the significance and the difference that you can make in someone else's life. Imagine if your upline coach didn't talk to you about coaching or Beachbody or anything. Where would you be at in your life? Would you be happier than you are now? Would you be healthier? Would you have as many awesome friends as you do now? Now think of what you have to offer. Because I know many of you have sat in your, sat in your shoes, have sat back and said, I don't, I don't have anything to offer. I have nothing to give to someone else. If any one of you said that to me, I would call bullshit. Because you do. Trust me, I was in that position where I was like, I doubted myself. I had no self-love and no self-worth. Who would want to join me? I have nothing to offer anybody. I can't even stay on track on my own nutrition. Hello, till this day, literally. So how can, can, how can I help someone? The truth of the matter is, everyone needs someone. No matter what it is. Maybe it's just an ear a shoulder, a hug, someone being there, someone for accountability, you're needed. As much as you doubt yourself, you're needed in so many people's lives. So don't compare yourself. Don't think that you're disappointing anybody else. Don't think you're disappointing yourself because you're still sitting at some place where others are not. It's not about others. It's not about other coaches. This business is not a competition. This is your life, your business, and your future. Now, I just had to share a little bit with you guys. With that said, I'm going to turn over the mic ha, to my dear and closest friend, Allison Talmadge. She is a Emerald coach. And she was a success starter last year, so she earned her free ticket to Summit. Woo, woo. If you guys don't know how to do that, you get Success Club your first three months as, as signing up as a coach. And she is going to talk about three vital behaviors, which are uber, super important in this business. So we're going to let her speak, and then at the end, we're going to go ahead and open it up. If for whatever reason you guys have to log off before um, and you have questions, you can go ahead you can go ahead. Love you too, Ashley. You can go ahead and write your questions in the chat box and then we can go, we will have her answer the questions afterwards. So you guys can watch the recording. So Allison, my dear, go ahead and take it away. Thank you, Vicki. Um, so I, I have been a coach for actually a year this past Saturday. My coach anniversary came and went and I totally forgot about it. <laughs> I knew it was coming and then it came and went and like yesterday I was like, oh my God, I totally didn't even like celebrate or anything. I think it's because my husband's birthday is the day before and maybe that's why, I don't know. But anyhow, woohoo, one year. Um, and I'm in, you know, I hit success starter or got made success starters and earned my ticket to summit uh, for this year. Um, and I just, you know, I've, Probably, I want to say, I also earned the, I earned, however, didn't register for the success club trip for this year, um, which was, is the cruise. And I earned it um, by, you know, hitting success club a certain amount of months and points and stuff like that. And it would have been paid for all but like $150 or something like that. So, um, you know, I, I, and I, I achieved this by, you know, following the three vital behaviors. So. With that said, I'm just going to go straight into it. Um, and the thing is, is the three vital behaviors, like the reason why Beachbody, like why like Carl Deichler, they talk about it all the time is because it is just that they're vital. Um, so obviously it's being a product of the product, uh, in, invite, 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 and personal development. So I'm just going to kind of break them down and not only like break them down because like if you're a brand new coach, then this is awesome for you. This is a really, really good call because you're going to hear vital behaviors left and right drilled into you like at every super Saturday, like every, you know, national wake up call, you're going to hear it all the time. But 
um, I kind of also am going to include like little tips on how, like what to do differently or how to like advance yourself in social media and in the business. Um, so starting first with um, the product of the product. So um, I have this weird setup in my bedroom right now, actually. I'm sitting on my bed with a clothes basket holding my laptop up. <laughs> so I, I'm a little like, you know, discombobulated. Um, okay, so being a product of the product, uh, you're gonna be obviously drinking Shakeology. And that means you're drinking Shakeology and posting about it. So post, try a new Shakeology recipe and post about it um, and share it. And when you share it on your social media, you know, do a picture of you with the shake so that they see your face. Um, you're going to be like, ask for testimonials from your challengers. Like how, what did they think about Shakeology? What has it done for them? And share that so that, you know, together you're, you're showing that not only you're a product of the product, but your challengers are also kind of advertising for you. <clears throat> um, try new recipes that contain Shakeology, but that aren't shakes. So uh, like my favorite and Cindy actually Atkinson, she's uh, recently tried this um, recipe too, but it's a like chocolate peanut butter cupcake or chocolate peanut butter, um, peanut butter cup. Basically it's, it's basically like a healthy version of a Reese's peanut butter cup. It's so good. And you know, I like that gets, that got a lot of following when I posted that recipe. So, you know, try new and they, they make, you know, there's recipes on Pinterest or protein cupcakes, or sorry, protein pancakes. So, you know, like try different recipes that include Shakeology as well, just to mix it up. And then um, you wanna make a post, like, you know, everybody has a story and everyone has something that Shakeology has done for them, right? So for me, and this is kind of shocking because everybody always like your for, people's first response is how expensive Shakeology is. Oh, I can't afford that. It's $120 a month or whatever. I can't afford that. I am saving money by drinking Shakeology every month because I'm not going through Starbucks every day spending $11 every day. So instead of spending $300 a month, I'm spending, you know, $98 a month. So, you know, I talk about like your story, like what it has done for you. Um, also a, another product of the product is working out clearly. Um, you know, you can post videos. Um, Vicki had said this actually on last week's zoom that a lady had, who had never liked, commented, shared nothing, never even like, didn't even really know that she liked her page or anything messaged her after she hadn't been working out at 5am for a couple of weeks and was like, I missed your five. I'm, I'm missing your 5am workouts. Like, and because you're not working out, neither am I, like you were keeping me working out. And it's like, you know, people are watching those videos. People are seeing them, whether they're going to, whether they watch them all the way through, or they just see that you posted one. So it gets them to like get their butt up and work out too. Um, it's encouraging post sweaty selfies. Um, I work out with my daughter a lot. And so I'll post a sweaty selfie with me and her cause she loves to work out with me. So, you know, think of like what your niche thing is, you know, if you, I have a, I have a challenger who does yoga with her dog and he's always on her mat. And so she posts a sweaty selfie with her pug on her, on her yoga mat, you know, so like think of something kind of a little bit creative that's, that's about you because people are following you for you. Um, po obviously post your before and afters. So, um, and like Vicky said, you may not see a difference, but there's going to be, be a lot of people who are going to be amazed at the difference. And you're your own worst critic. So nothing that anyone is going to say is, is anything that you haven't said to yourself or heard, you know, you say to yourself. So, you know, put it out there. That's part of, that's part of gaining trust with your followers is being vulnerable and showing them that, you know, even small triumphs are triumphs they're just that they're prog it's progress <clears throat> can i add um, to that real quick yeah and it, <clears throat> small successes are easier to relate to than big successes too because <clears throat> if like i know losing 100 pounds is really inspiring and motivating 
But think of all the people that feel like they have a hundred pounds to lose and how big of a journey that seems to them. But if you say, oh, I lost five pounds. Oh, I lost seven pounds. They're like, oh my gosh, I can do that too. So don't forget how, how, um, important small successes are. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Another thing to add to workouts is, um, you're like, I, I'm, I know that, I know that Chelsea has like a crazy awesome workout playlist and Vicky, you do too. So like, if you guys work out to a specific playlist, share your playlist, like with your followers, like, you know, share like a, a link to your Spotify, you know, or like a few, like your favorite ones or your favorite artists to work out to bands or something. Um, it doesn't always have to be a video of you working out, just something related to you working out. Um, let's see. Also your favorite brands of shoes, like running shoes or workout shoes, your favorite, you know, workout pants. Vicky has these mermaid pants that whenever she wears them for her, a workout, people are always commenting because they're killer pants. So, you know, like post your favorite workout tank, like Heather is famous for, you know, wearing like all of the, um, like mascara and muscles and like the same type of, um, tank tops, um, your favorite headband, something to keep your head, your hair out of your face, especially if you have shorter hair, you know, there's people are looking for these things. Like, and if you're providing them information, then they're, you know, more apt to follow you and to follow your journey. Um, and then, uh, another option for like, after you, after you work out and you're super sweaty and you don't have time to shower and do your hair, how would you do your hair? You know, do like a short little tutorial and like, okay, so I just had my workout and you're out of breath and, and I'm on my way to go, you know, you know, pick up the kids from school and I have no time, but all the moms at, you know, school are super cute. So I have to do something. And this is what I did you know, do something different, but it's still proving that you did your workout. Um, and also going along with pro being a product of the product is clean eating. Like it's not necessarily something they talk of like Beachbody talks about as a being a product of the product, but come on, like the, the number one thing that like we preach and the tr master trainers preach is like, you have to be eating clean. Like abs are made in the kitchen. And if you're telling your challengers, like if your challengers are coming to you and saying, I'm not, you know, reaching my goals or I'm not getting there and I'm struggling. Your first question is always going to be, what is your nutrition like? And if you're not doing the same, then you can't really harp on them for that. So, you know, by, by, um, posting pictures of your meals and it doesn't have to be every single meal. Like if it's, if it's something like last night I made, it, it's a really good recipe. I will share it with you guys. It's a, um, <laughs> it's, um, it's like a healthy take on chicken and rice, like casserole. Like, you know, when you were, I, when I was younger, <laughs> I'm a, one of four kids and we were totally broke and didn't have, you know, we, we had chicken and rice, like it was casserole all the time. Well, it's like, it has quinoa in it and it's like super healthy, but it has broccoli in it and chicken and quinoa. So like the colors, not that pretty, like not really something I would take a picture of because there's not much, like there's not, a, it's not really colorful. So, you know, it doesn't have to be every single meal that you eat, but you know, putting, putting it, putting it something that is maybe colorful or you can, you know, make the picture look attractive and then post something on your social media, like saying, you know, for 10 likes and you know, five comments, I'll, I'll give you the recipe because that will encourage people to share or comment or like your post, which means that their friends are now seeing your page. <clears throat> um, and then ho host groups, like when you host ch like clean eating groups, participate in them, be posting your own meals at the same time as expecting your challengers to be posting. Um, it's also going to encourage them to be posting too, and then they're going to see more results. So, uh, invite, invite, invite. Now I heard this on a national wake up call. It actually wasn't that long ago. I think it was maybe the first one of the year actually. And, um, she said she likes to look at, and I was like, this is brilliant. I'm going to look at this now all the time. So 
I like to look at invite, invite, invite as three different invites. It's not like a repetitive, just like invite. You just need to be constantly inviting. I look at it as the first invite is inviting to challenge groups. That means hosting a free group every, like hosting a free group every month, you know, help. Um, well, what did I write here? <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Um, it will like hoping hosting a free group. Like some people think, you know, it might be a waste of their time, but this is going to help you with networking. I have added to my network by like, I, I don't even know. It's at least 50 just in January by hosting uh, two free groups. It was a mom group, like a bonding challenge and a free clean eating group. And by, by posting those ads in specific little like groups that I'm already a part of, like buy, sell, trade groups, mom groups, whatever. I'm, I was able to increase my network by at least 50. So the free groups should be just that. They should help you increase your network. They should help you reach more people. And yeah, you're not necessarily selling every single person a challenge back. You're not helping them on a long, long, long journey, but you're, you're helping them for that week. And then maybe they'll come to you next month or next year, but you're still creating that, that friendship with them. And I'm, I, every person that I add to my free groups, I go and add on Facebook. We've had a conversation now we've shared you know, struggles or, and, and whatnot. So we're friends. I add them on Facebook so that they can see my posts. And then I invite them to like my page, um, host a program group every month. Um, the 21 day fix is my baby channel or my baby program. Like it's easy. It's three weeks. So you're not running into the next month. You can run one every single month. Um, I mean, there's tons of other programs too. And, you know, if you're more confident with Pio or size, then run, run that challenge group. You know, I would say you going to, you want to run one that you're comfortable with and then invite people, you know, other people who are people who are doing other programs to do, to join the group too, because they can follow the same eating plan. But, um, you know, you want to do one where you're going to be able to post the workouts or, you know, be able to be comfortable with what you're talking about. Um, and then personally invite every single, like personally invite people, like people like follow up. Fortune is in the follow up and people like the top coaches always say that the fortune is in the follow up. And it's so true. You guys, I have somebody who's been wanting to, has been talking about buying, you know, about getting a challenge track for her and her boyfriend for like six months and she's getting home from work tonight and getting on the computer and she's finally getting it. And you know, it's like, it's because I've been following up. It's not because she finally came to me and said, okay, I'm ready because she saw a post I made. It's because I keep, I keep following up. I keep inviting her. Hey, look, I have a challenge group coming up. I totally don't want to bug you, but I don't want you to think that I forgot about you. And I know you've expressed interest in the past. And because I followed up, she's joining my next challenge group. So follow up, follow up, follow up and private message everybody who's expressed interest in the past. And you don't have to, I mean, go about it as they have expressed interest, meaning they want, they, they've wanted that help. So you are reaching out to them because you want to help them, not because you want the challenge back sale. Um, and so then the third invite or second invite is invite to coaching. That means you're a, you're leaving breadcrumbs. Um, you know, I try to do it at least three times a week and this is a newer behavior, a newer like post I've been trying to do is three times a week, you know, post something about coaching, like what it's done for my life or what it's doing right now or what it allows me to do. Um, post in your challenge groups about coast about coaching. And I like to do that in the third week. So, They've been doing the clean eating and working out for two weeks. By the third week, they're ready to double up on their workouts. Possibly they're ready to, you know, go roll into the following program. If it's 21 day fix, sorry, this is kind of 21 day fix specified. <laughs> um, but, you know, post something about coaching in there and take note in your challenge groups, who is commenting, 
Like who's commenting in it on other people's posts and encouraging them because those are going to be the good coaches that you want on your team. Those are going to be the coaches that are just reaching out because that's who they are, not because it's a vital behavior. Um, and then, like I said, personally message people who you think would be a good uh, coach, someone who you haven't necessarily talked to before. But if you are sitting there thinking, God, they'd just be so good at coaching or they're already posting so much like motivational stuff or they already are on a wait list journey, you know, doing some other program and they don't know what I'm doing. Like the chances are not every single person on your friends list knows that you're a coach, but you have to approach them. I mean, I have a really good friend who signed up with somebody else. She was in my wedding and she signed up with somebody else because I had not asked her. I mean, maybe that's not really why, but like I, I blame myself because I didn't ask her. So personally invite everybody that you think would, you know, be an asset to your team. And going on both of the inviting to challenge groups and inviting to coaching, anytime you make a post about a program that you're doing, about coaching, it doesn't even have to be the ads that you post for the sneak peek. Obviously, you want to post sneak peek ads and then an ad for your challenge group. And every time someone likes, shares, or comments, message them. Because they may not say, yes, I'm in right now because they're a little shy. If they, I, the last coach, the last coaching sneak peek for last month, I didn't have one person that said, yes, I'm in, I want to do it. But when I, but when I messaged all the likes, every single person said, yeah, it is something I'd be interested in. And so they joined the sneak peek. And that's the thing is like, some people are going to be too shy. They're not going to come to you. So you have to come to them but they're giving you a hint by liking your post. And it may not be your ad. It may just be that, you know, I, I posted a picture of my daughter having tea time, me and my daughter and I having tea time. And I love that coaching allows me to do that. Somebody liked it or however many people liked it or commented, I messaged them. Is this something you'd be interested in? I saw that you liked it. And that's just like a genuine, hey, I saw that you liked it. Are you interested? It's nothing like I'm not jumping on them right away. Like it's not a salesy thing. It's sharing your life with people. Um, and then, uh, let's see. Then the third invite is um, inviting people into your life. Like be vulnerable on social media. Um, that is how you're going to be successful. Like, of course, everyone has secrets. There's things I have not shared on social media that I'm working on so that I can. But, you know, you don't have to share every part of your life, but be vulnerable because you want to invite people into your life. Like, you're not going to be able to create that trust and have people want to follow you if they don't truly know you. Um, and then... The third thing, personal development. Um, I, I don't remember who said this quote, but it was a, it was a, um, it was a top coach. Um, and maybe they got it from a book. I have no idea. Uh, growth comes from being intentional. So be intentional. And that starts with your personal development. Um, the, top, the top leaders in the group all do personal development on the daily. It's non-negotiable. Um, I ha there's, I, I have like this hill sort of analogy. So imagine you're at the top of a hill and <clears throat> you're doing personal development. So you're able to stand on your feet and everything, right? You skip a week, a full week of personal development. You start falling on your face down the hill. You're about halfway there. You do one day and then you miss another few days. You're going to fall further down. If you're at the bottom of the hill and you're not doing personal development, or if you're at the bottom of the hill, the only way you're going to be able to stand on your two feet and walk back up that hill 
is by doing personal development. It's by, you know, feeding, fueling your mind and, and putting your mindset in, putting yourself in the right mindset in order to help others. Because if you're down on yourself, you cannot help others. You cannot be encouraging to others. You know, some people are going to come to you with all kinds of problems, all kinds of like mental, you know, struggles. And they're going to come to you because you are exuding this positiveness. Personal development is like, I, is, I can preach about it forever and I'm not going to because we don't have all night. But um, I, ha- I am a completely different person because I have done personal development for the last year. I, I honestly never, ever, ever thought that I would love myself the way that I do today. And I, I, I didn't even know that like love for myself existed in this, like in this capacity. So if you don't do, if you're not already doing personal development every day, definitely shoot for it. Um, it will help you with your posts on your fitness page too, because you can post, you know, inspirational quotes. You can like Vicky does, she highlights the highlights a quote and, you know, posts it with like her cute little fingernails in there or like <laughs> her coffee mug next to it. <laughs> you always have cute fingernails. Um, Part of my brand. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Um, and personal development, honestly, okay. So reading personal development every morning or every night or whenever it works for you, it's part of your job. Like that is like, that is one of the three jobs Beachbody gives us and that you should be giving yourself. Um, you should always be in a constant state of gratitude, you know, always be thankful, uh, get your mind right before you can help others. So if you are in a crappy place, don't start messaging people. Don't start your power hour by messaging people. Start with at least 10 minutes of personal development. That will put you in such a better place to start messaging people because then you're not going to be thinking of numbers. You're not going to be thinking of money. You're going to be thinking of the people and how Beachbody has changed your life. It can change theirs. <clears throat> um, I wanted to do a couple of, well, let's see. Um, so I'll ask yourself like, okay, what are you doing for personal development right now? What are you going to do when you're fun, when you're finished with that? What, what about after that? And after that, make a list so that you're never, you never run out. Make a list so that when you're, you know, three quarters of the way through with one book, you've got the other one already ordered and on its way. Or you've got, if the other one isn't on its way, listen to a podcast. Um, So now I'm just going to start, I'm just going to give you a few lists of like my favorite personal development books and podcasts. Obviously Beachbody podcast with the national wake up call is super important because if you miss the national wake up call, you can catch it on Beachbody on our Beachbody um, podcast. Um, And some of my like aha, like like crazy, like I never thought of it that way. Those moments come from the national wake up call. Like there's a reason why Carl Deichler asks them to speak on the national wake up call. They have important things to say. So it is important to listen to it. It doesn't matter how long you've been coaching. Um, And then uh, Lewis House School of Greatness is a good one. And Shalene Johnson, my girl. I love the Shalene show. She talks about making your bed every day. And it is like so true. It, and she, she, I'm not even going to go into it. I'll let you go listen to her podcast. Um, and then Build Your Tribe, which is also a Shalene Johnson uh, podcast too. And it's just, it's, that's more, it's closer to like beach body related versus just like life. Um, and then some books are, um, upper limits. You are a badass. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I am that girl. That's a really good one. It's about like girl power. Um, like treating what, how like women should empower each other instead of break each other down. Go for no, go for no helped me get past rejection. So when people tell me no, or they're not interested, 
now? I don't care. Okay, that's fine. I'll find somebody who is, who cares about their health, who wants to join me. And you said no now, but I guarantee you that like in a year when I, when you can, when you see my story completely unfold, then you're, you're going to, you're not going to, your answer isn't going to be no. So going, go for no is, was a really powerful book for me. And it was, I got it on audio and it's super cheesy, super cheesy, but it, it really, really helped me. Um, Gift of Imperfection is a really good one too. And it's an easy read. It's smaller. It's something quick. And the 10x rule is really, really great for setting your heights, your sights high. <clears throat> and your heights Just high. Gotta go. Huh? I said, and your heights high. Yeah, that too. <laughs> um, so to just to finish, um, if you do nothing else with your business, do the three vital behaviors. Do these three things because you will succeed. You will hit success club every month. And if you are frustrated and you think that you're not getting anywhere, go back and look at what you're doing. Chances are you're not doing the three vital behaviors. Um, this is your main job. And based on your performance, it, like, do you think you should be promoted or do you think you should be fired? And look at that at the end of every week. If, did I do everything that I was supposed to do this week? If you didn't, then you need to turn it around for the following week. I'm not saying like, no, you need to add it all into one day. Like, don't, don't stress yourself over that, but do better next week. There is such a thing as second, third, and fourth chances. I mean, this is your business, so you don't have to fire yourself. But look at it that way. And um, uh, I think that's it, actually, yeah. Awesome. I absolutely love the fact that you wanted to touch on this topic because <clears throat> I think so many coaches think like there's some, there's some sprinkly dust that successful coaches are not sharing with other people. Like what, it, what is this magic potion that you're concocting that con concocting? That's not even a word, uh, <laughs> creating whatever, um, that you're not sharing with everybody. What is it? Like, I need to know what you're saying to people or how you're convincing people to magic fairy. Yeah. There's no magic fairy. <laughs> that should um, but what it is, it's successful coaches. I could say that I'm not even kidding you guys. I've made success club 38 months in a row because I do the three vital behaviors every damn day. I take two days off from one vital behavior and that's just inviting. I still be a product of the product and I'm still reading my personal development. The only time I take days off is inviting, inviting people. I still invite people into my life. I still sh share, but I don't share the in-depth stuff where people are going to be answering questions on the weekends, but I do them every single day. If you only have one hour to devote to your business, you can get it done. You can get down the three vital behaviors in one hour every single day. At Super Saturday, for those of you that were in Seattle, um, Lauren Kaliski said, I don't know if it was this Su Seattle Super Saturday or last time, but she said, I do now what most people won't do. So I can do what most people won't be able to do later. I think that was October. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. But think about that. So like if, you know, if you guys have like me, don't tell, don't tell. This is a secret between all of us. So I have a boyfriend who's very <laughs> into playing video games, right? And he wants me to play video games with him. I think it's, I rather shoot myself in the toe with a paintball gun. I don't know. <laughs> I, whatever. He likes it. But instead of doing that, what do I am doing? I'm re reading extra personal development. I'll sit there with him while he plays, but I'm reading extra personal development. Do you think anyone else is going to sit there and be like, oh no, baby, I'll play with you. Or do you think they're going to say, no, I want to continue to grow myself, continue to improve myself so I can give my best of myself to others. So I could teach my team how to be the best themselves. I mean, granted, I'll play a game or two every once in a while, but I spend my extra time devoting that into growing me. And especially when you guys are filling in that funk, 
you know, maybe it's that time of the month. Maybe shit happens. Life sucks right now. You feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, which I never get the analogy because they're both hard places. I mean, let's be honest, but that's when you really need to focus on personal development. And maybe you need to start doing more instead of just reading personal development. I love Allison said constant state of gratitude. I recently started a gratitude journal every night. I write 10 things that I'm grateful for that day. Even on the shittiest days, guys, you have stuff to be thankful for. Make sure you write that down and forgive yourself. Be kind to yourself. Like Allison said, if you go throughout the week and you're like, okay, here I am. <laughs> would I promote myself or would I shit can my ass? And you're looking at the ladder, forgive yourself. You know what? You can't change the past, but you can change the present for your future. It's up to you. We give you guys everything you need, everything you want, everything you can ask for, except maybe personal traveling. I don't know. I can't give you that. I would love to. But, but no, you can get that through Success Club. I'm, I mean, like, we can't actually visit each <laughs> oh, other right now. I was going to say, like, you, you <laughs> can yes, get that, though, like, yes. and by doing your vital behavior. Right. right. <laughs> but if you guys can do one thing for yourself, if you want to be a successful Beachbody coach, if you want to be successful in your health and fitness, do these three things. Don't focus on getting good at other things that you see other people doing. Oh, like she, she's so good at her YouTube channel. Oh, she's so good at her website. Oh, she's so good at this. So it's what? Because they've you know mastered. What? That's because they the have three vital behaviors. So make sure that you're uber, super, really, really good at those three things. Because if you don't even have control over those three things, you're going to lose it all by incorporating something else. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you, eat, sleep, and, you know, eat, sleep, and breathe the three vital behaviors, then add something else. But I mean, I still struggle daily by, you know, with doing the vital behaviors. And I, it is hard doing it, having another job or having a toddler running around, but you only need one hour to do that. And if that means getting up an hour earlier or staying up an hour later or, or using your lunch break to do that, then you do that. If you want your business to grow, if you want, I mean, if you don't want your business to grow and you're happy with where it is, that's great. Continue doing what you're doing. You know, this is your business. So true. And you're not going to disappoint anybody. So first and foremost, I want you guys wipe that out of your mind right now. Never think that, oh, I'm disappointing so-and-so. Someone's going to be disappointed in me because I'm not doing this. This is you. You look in the mirror, mirror, you look in the mirror. <laughs> And tell yourself, you are not disappointing yourself because you are giving your all every way you can. And if you haven't done it yet, start tomorrow. Right? Does anyone have any questions? Thank you so much, Allison, for sharing all that. I wrote so many, so many notes. Um, does anyone have any, um, my husband loves playing on the Xbox. Oh, <laughs> Jen, see? <laughs> See, he's going to come out for Super Saturday in August, and that's what they're going to be doing. Um, does anyone have any questions for Allison? You go ahead. Oh, Christina said your kick-ass life podcast. Oh, is that from Andrea Owen, the author of that? Mm. She has a podcast now? Yay, I'm super excited. Okay, awesome. I'll have to look that one up for sure. Yay, Alexa said Alexis. she just got Go For No in her Amazon cart. Oh, and was it Jackie that said, I don't fo always follow my, my nutrition plan that I upload on my clean eating groups. And honestly, I tell my, my challengers that that is a tool for them to a starting point. They don't have to follow that. That's basically for people who have no idea where to start. They've never eaten clean. They do not know what to make or how to do it. So, um, you know, it's just a tool. I'm almost done. It's just a tool. So, yeah. you know, you don't have to follow it. They could use it as a template or follow it as yeah. a guide. Up to them. Yeah. Thank you for hopping on. Corinne says she has to go. Wait, wait, wait. Before Corinne hops off, we're going to do a selfie real quick. Okay. All right. Ladies and little gents. <laughs> One, two, three. All right. 
Okay, does anyone have anything else to say, comment, question, concern? Piper has a question. Nicole. I just wanted to say thank you for saying you're not going to be a dis like we're not a disappointment because sometimes when things are super slow, you know how I feel like I feel like you're going to go, oh, I put all this time and energy into you, Nicole, and you suck. And I don't want to let anybody down. So I always worry about that. So thank you for putting that out there. And it's recorded so I can see it all the time. Okay. I want you to answer me honestly. And oh my God, I'm going to about, uh, I'm, I'm kind of shaky now. Have I ever, ever made you feel that way? No. Or has anyone else on this team ever made you feel that way? Nope. I make okay. myself feel that way. It's with all my other problems. It's not about you guys. It's about me. And yeah, I, I make myself feel that way. And that's something that I need to work on, and which is why I need to concentrate more on my personal development. Allison, thank you so very much for mm -hmm. that. Because you talk about that hill. I'm like 18 feet under the bottom of the hill. So this, this tonight was great. Like it just, it made me cry from the beginning. So um, thank you. Cause I'm going to get my shit together and I'm going to rock eventually at some point, but right now I got to get my shit together. So thank you ladies. I love you both. And you both know that I love you. So thank you. Mm -hmm. We love you too. Um, I want you guys to know no matter where you are at in this business, there's going to be tough times. Like I promise you as a five-star diamond coach, who's been doing this for four years, I still have my rough days. Some of you know, I come to you with my roughest moments. And maybe some of you guys see it on Facebook and you're like, oh, she's not her chippery self. I don't know what's going on with her. Um, we still have shit hit the fan. And, you know, I, I'm sensitive Sally. I wear my feelings on my face. I can't, I can't lie or pretend I'm happy when I'm not. And the way I make myself feel better, not everyone's like this, but I have to go make someone's day better. I have to like, that's the thing that will put me in a better mood because if I'm sulking, it just gets worse and worse and worse. But when I purposely intentionally turn someone else's day around, it just makes me feel a little bit better. And when I do it again, a little bit better and better. So I don't want you guys to think that, Oh, if I become diamond, I'm never going to have any problems in the world. Everything's going to be great, grand and wonderful. That's not true. I would, love it. I would love for it to be true, but it's not true. But the great thing is we have the tools to be able to deal with it when crap comes at us, right? We have amazing, amazing support system. I mean, look at all these incredible women. I say this, I'm pretty sure I say this every single call we have. Look at the people around you that you can go to. If you need an ear, if you need a shoulder, if you need someone to vent to, no matter what it is, you have people that have your back. No matter what you say, it'll never disappoint me or anyone else on this call. Unless you say, Vicki, you're not good enough. I'm leaving you for someone else. Then I'd be like, oh. <laughs> but that'd be disappointing in me. Not I was going to say, even then you would be like, what did I do? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I promise I'll do better. It's not me. It's you. But this is what yeah. Um, but yeah, so don't ever think that you guys are a disappointment. If you need to take a break, if you need to take a breather, if you need extra personal development time, if you need a motivational swift kick in the AS, I don't know what it is. You guys know who you can turn to. You have a family. This is a hand-picked family. Not everyone gets lucky enough to be able to do that, right? Some people are just given what they're given. They have to deal with it. So. Who is going to start doing the three vital behaviors, whether or not they were doing it before, every damn day? <laughs> All right. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Okay. Thank you so much for letting me host. Yes. Chantel says I, she needed this tonight. It's been a rough day. Oh, we love you, dear. Ashley, I'm sorry. I've been running around rapid. But food prepping. <laughs> Well, thank you, Ashley. And thank you for food prepping too. See, she's doing two personal or two vital behaviors at the same time, personal development and product of the product. Look at that. Alexis, I needed this too. Well, thank you ladies all so much for hopping on tonight. It was great to see all your wonderful faces. Just to let you all know, I hope you guys have this marked in your calendar for every week because every week we're going to be here same time, same code. Next week, my dear, sweet Jen White 
is going to be co-hosting and I'm super excited. So make sure you guys are all on so we can listen to all the goodies that she has to share with us. And until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, have a great week, and we'll see you next week.